Hey there, YouTube watchers, Mike C. Clanner, and uh, by request, you've asked me about my carry gear and some of the other stuff you've seen me use on the range. And I also want to talk about what the gun I'm demoing with today. So a little sneak peek at some of these items that I have on. First of all, the beautiful, and by the way, this is the first day that I've shot this, SFT. T stands for track pattern, which is the pattern on the back of the grips. Uh, nine millimeter, SFT nine. This is a, a, a new gun that Wilson Combat, of course, is releasing. And SF stands for solid frame. If you look at the old, um, EDC X9 or X pattern guns, they have a different grip kind of surface area. They actually have grip panels. SF is a true solid frame lower, and it's kind of got a unique grip to it. For me, uh, I much prefer the SF grip than the other one, although I like them both. It just has a good feel in my hand. It's not quite as narrow as my normal 1911s, but pretty darn close, and of course, this is a high cap. Um, 1911 style system. Uh, this one, and I don't know if they meant to or not, they happened to put an ambi safety on it so I could run it with either hands. I really love that. All of my carry guns and competition guns will have an ambi safety. And this one has a very nice and robust front sight with some beautiful serrations on it. It's got a fixed rear sight, which I like. If I were to carry a gun like this, um, I like that robust rear sight because that allows me to manipulate the firearm and do one-handed manipulations off my belt, or holster a corner of my pocket. So I do like that really robust, uh, solid, fixed rear sight. Um, of course, it's got some great cocking serrations on the front and back. So if you prefer a, you know, a front slide motion with your hand or a real rear slide motion for your slingshot or your overhand techniques, you can do that as well. Mag release is very, very easy to hit for me. So, you know, in terms of ergonomics, it's good to go. You know, when I assess a carry type handgun, I always talk about REAP, reliability, ergonomics, accuracy, and power. So the gun has to be reliable. And we probably shot 600 rounds today through this gun. Uh, it was somewhat dry from uh, the factory up there. They didn't put a lot of lube on it, but it's running 100% so far. So I'm very, very impressed with that. To carry it, of course, I would probably run another five or 600 rounds through it at least. And if it's 100%, which it would be, I know it's a Wilson Combat, I'm going to carry the gun. Now my actual carry gun is actually over here in a holster. Um, I'm not going to pull it out because it's hot, but this is the same holster I'm wearing right now. This is the Precision Holsters Ultra Appendix inside the waistband holster. I've showed you this on a couple different videos. Uh, the Stars and Stripes variant is actually my signature line, full disclosure. I do have an association with Precision Holsters, but this guy is designed for uh, appendix position carry. It's got kind of a wide portion on the back of the holster which actually points the grip into my body and it's got a little extra material on the bottom of the holster which tilts the gun into my body. So it's a very robust heavyweight Kydex holster uh, that is very very fast to draw from as well as offers a good deal of retention uh, and very very low profile. So it's very very concealable. It's got some big robust clips on it and I love that. Of course uh, I think you can get these holsters still in the Wilson Combat Pro Shop. So great holster. I'm typically carrying a single mag pouch. Of course for the demos today and the videos you might have seen uh, I was wearing a single mag pouch. This is my actual carry mag pouch. I typically carry 20 rounds of, of ammunition on my person. I normally carry a single stack and you may say well Mike why do you carry you know, a 1911 style system. Why a compact 1911 CQB or an, you know, you know, SF variant or whatever 1911 style gun. And here's the deal. I'm a, a professional shooter and instructor and I shoot full time and I compete primarily with 1911. So my recommendation to you and what I try to follow is if I'm competing with a certain family of guns, let's say 1911s and over the last five to seven years, I've shot more 1911s in competition than any other frame. It makes sense for me that, to then carry a 1911 style system. It points the same, uh, it, it, it feels the same in my hand as you know the guns I'm competing with and shooting in practice day after day. Uh, also, I do carry the appendix position. So I do appreciate the thumb safety and grip safety that comes on some of the variants as well. I like a manual safety gun for that position. Some of you have also asked about uh, these little yellow earplugs you've seen in my ears. This is kind of one of your bonus uh, portions of the video itself. And I'm going to tell you, I wish I could give credit to the manufacturer. These are molded earpieces I got uh, at an academy that I ran many years ago. I asked for them in bright yellow color so I could find them very, very quickly in my range bag. 
But when we decide to do, for whatever reason, I'll give you a little inside thing here, hat off filming, oftentimes I will put these small molded um, ear protection in my ears versus ear muffs, which probably feels a little bit better for me. So if I knew the manufacturer that molded these for me, I would throw it out there, but I don't. So there you go, you asked for that, and you've, everybody's wondering what the little, ye little yellow ear pieces in my ears are. That's what those are. Of course, you can see the rest of my gear here in my shooting bag. Uh, typically, I'm carrying with a precision holsters belt. Uh, right now, I have an undershirt on, so during the video filming, we're not having that belly flash, but the reality is, a good compression type undershirt when you're drawing from appendix or any position is gonna allow your hand specifically with an inside the waistband holster to glide down and be able to uh, index high on the grip as you're drawing the handgun. So I recommend you look at your overall carry system as a system from both your concealment outer garment to your undergarment to your belt to your holster to your mag pouch and of course last but not least your firearm. So there you have it. Uh, Mike C. Clenders carry gear, why I carry what I carry, and a couple other tidbits uh, along the way.